Hello everyone, this is Jyoti from Oibushita.com and today in this video tutorial, I am going to tell you how to create mega menu in flat something. As you can see here, that is my website and when I am hovering on the shop, this kind of professional mega menu is opening. Now in this tutorial, I will teach you how to create a custom mega menu by using UX page builder and after that, I will teach you how to import a mega menu from Flatsum Studio. So that is my website what I create by using Flatsum theme. If you don't know how to create a website by using Flatsum theme, then I already make a video tutorial for that. I will give the video link in my video description. So by clicking that you can watch the entire video tutorial. Now that is my website here is no mega menu as you can see when i'm hovering on the shop nothing is opening and that is my dashboard and that is my menu so i have to assign that mega menu in this shop so for that let's hover on the ux block and you have to click in the add new option after that you have to give the name for the ux block i'm giving the name as full size mega menu after that you have to click in the publish option next click in the ux page builder option click in this add element after that i have to take a session make it default only click in the apply option again click in this add element option now i need a row i am taking this one i need total three column so click in the apply option now click in the first column make it six after that click in the second one make it three now click in the third one and make it three also so in this row, the first column occupy 50%, second row occupying 25% and third row also occupying 25%. Now let's click in the first one, click in the add element. Here also I have to take a row and that should contain two column. Click in the apply option, again click in this plus option. After that I need this text block. Next click in the open text editor. From here erase everything first of all, after that I want product category name should be here so let's come to the website open the shop page here you can see all the product category suppose i need the perfume so just copy the product category name and paste it here after that here you can see there is some link is here just click in this remove link option now it is a normal text after that make it let's make it heading 3 next if you want to link this text with the product category what you have to do you have to open that particular product category now let's copy this url again click in this make it bold and after that click in this option insert or edit link now you have to paste that link and after that you have to click in this apply option okay next again click in this plus option and you have to search for the menu here you can see the menu click in this by default total four link will be added if you want more then you have to right click on any link and after that you have to click in the duplicate option i am taking this full link only because it's a dummy website only and for editing this link you have to click on the link suppose here i want to insert this product just open the product copy the product name at the place of the text you have to give the product name here you can see the link option downside here you can see the select post click in this here also you have to enter that product name so that is my product name this one click in this and after that click in the apply option Similarly, let's click in the menu link too. Suppose I'm taking this one. Just copy the product name. Here at the place of the text, you have to give the product name. And here also you have to give the product name. That is the product. Click in the apply. Click in the third one. Suppose I want to add this one. Click in that. Copy the product name. Come back here. Paste it here. Here also you have to paste it. This one click in the apply similarly click in the fourth one let's add this one copy the product name and don't copy this numbers 100 ml don't copy that just you have to copy the product name paste it here here also you have to paste it it will automatically find the product and after that you have to click in the apply option in similar manner click in this search for the text block that is the text block click in that open open the text editor come to the shop page now I want this category beauty product so let's delete everything whatever present here and after that you have to paste the product category name after that unlink it next again make it h4 or h3 again click in that 
click in the insert link come back here copy the url you have to give the link here and after that you have to click in the apply option click in the ok again click in this plus option search for the menu this one now click in this i want this product just copy the product name you have to paste here similarly you have to paste it here also in similar manner let me add some more product suppose you want to add more category then what you have to do just come to that row option open the column hope you remember you take a row here just right click on it and make it duplicate now here you can add another categories like watches copy come here click in the open text editor paste it unlock it again click in this option click in the watch copy the link enter the link click in the apply make it ok and apply after that you have to enter all the product which related to the watch category similarly you can edit this also it's a dummy website so i am not going to enter all the thing manually after that what you have to do i want to display all the latest product here so click in this search for the title click in this and add the title i want to type latest product next i have to add the latest product list here so click in this search for the list here you can see the product list click in this and after that click in the default and click in the apply now suppose i want to show total five product so make it five uh, five i think it's little bit more make it four after that filter product order by make it date so all the latest added product will be display like that now suppose i want to add some custom text so again click in this click in the lead paragraph it will look like that and suppose after that you want to add an image so click in this option and search for the image this one click in that and after that select media suppose i am taking this image click in this insert suppose that is my mega menu click in the apply option and update option cancel it after that you have to come to the menu session for that you have to hover on the appearance and after that you have to click in the menus so that is the shop page here you can see the design option make it custom size and the width you can change anything i am taking 1200 and after that here you can see the ux block so i just create that full size mega menu click in this and reveal you want to show the mega menu on hover or on click suppose you want to show the mega menu on hover so you have to make it on hover and after that you have to click in the save menu now let's come to the website so see when i'm hovering on the shop option this mega menu is coming hope you understand how to create the custom build mega menu now i'll teach you how to import a mega menu from platform studio so for that again let's come back to the ux block and click in the add new i'm giving the name as demo mega menu and after that you have to click in the publish option next come back to the ux builder click in the add element here you can see platform studio option is there click in the platform studio here you can search for the mega menu that is the mega menu here so many pre-built mega menu layout is there suppose you want to add this one if you want to see that you can click in the preview option and you can see that also if you want to import that one you have to click in the import option and click in the start option and make sure you check this one import images so images also will be inserted click in the start option it will take some time to import this as you can see here that is already imported now let's click in the update option again you have to come back to the dashboard option hover on the appearance and menu click in the shop page and for that i think you need the full container because it is a full width mega menu so for that you have to make it full width and after that here you can see the demo mega menu option is coming select that and i want it should open on click click in the save option now come back to website refresh the page here you can see when i'm hovering on the shop nothing is opening when i am clicking on the shop option this mega menu is opening so hope you understand 
how to create custom bell mega menu and how to import the mega menu hope you like this video if you like this video please like and share this video with your friend and family and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notification about my videos and thank you for your time have a nice day